My today's talk is called 21 before and after. You are probably wondering why the number is 21. This age, 21 year, is associated with the formation of the brain. Why is the age of 21 so important? The point is that the teen brain responds differently to the drugs and alcohol than the adult brain does. I think every teen needs to know that. Why is this information so important? People who start drinking at 11 years of age are more prone, are more likely to get addicted than those who start drinking after the age of 21. For example, according to Winters and Lee, among youth who begin drinking at 11 years of age, 7.2% of them had a uh, alcohol use disorder. On the other hand, those who start drinking after the age of 21 have the prevalence number equal to 3.7%. We can say that people who begin drinking at early ages are more likely to get addicted. Why is this happening? It has been suggested um, in the research of Dahl and Steinberg that the, bre uh, that the, mm, that the um, parts of the brain responsible for emotions develops faster than the part of the brain responsible for reasoning. Here you can see the image of the brain development um, <coughs> in teens and children ages 5 to 20. According to this image, we can see that the brain is still being formed during the early adulthood. The mature regions of the brain are indicated in blue. The prefrontal cortex, red circles, is the last part of the brain to mature. Due to the fact that the brain is still being developed between the ages 20 and 12, adolescents are more prone to addiction. The parts of the brain responsible for reasoning and decision making becomes less active during this period. And teens need to be taught more about decision making skills. Here are several of them. First, teach youth about how the brain is developing. Second, promote a healthy lifestyle. Also, Alison Bell in Teen Magazine suggested several ways to deal with the negative pressure from the outside. The first is to ask questions. Don't be afraid to ask questions. You can ask even 101 questions. If a friend forces you to smoke, you can ask him why he or she smokes and how long he or she smokes. Second, say no. The more confident you are about your position, the less people will bother you. Third, feel free, uh, repeat, feel free to state your position over and over again. You can also find a friend who shares your point of view and your interests. Um, <clears throat> look for a positive role model. Have you ever noticed that the most popular and successful teenagers at your school are those who are not afraid to say what they like and what they don't. Monitor your mood. Remember that the mood can affect your feelings. Substance abuse affects teen brain development by, firstly, damaging connections within the brain. Secondly, reducing the ability to experience the pleasure. Causing, um, creating problems connected with the memory and so on. The capacity of a person to learn will never be greater than during adolescence. Now, pause. Think about it for a second. Think about it in terms of your 
own education. Think about it in terms of your own future. You might be more competitive in the job market later on because your brains are learning as much as they could. Thank you.